Nature is a lovely and attractive world with many beauties and wonders. In these wonders, birds are one of the most beautiful creations of Mother Nature. Among all wildlife, some bird species are one of the most common wildlife in urban areas such as neighborhoods and cities. There are exceptions and few live in hills and forests too. Today I am going to narrate lifestyle of a beautiful bird which lives in the neighborhood of human settlement. I am able to study its behavior by following for months together with my camera's focus 12 hours. The bird is none other than the Indian Grey Hornbill, Osiris birastris, which is a common hornbill found on the Indian subcontinent. There are nine species of hornbill birds found in India. Malabar Grey Hornbill Malabar Pied Hornbill Great Hornbill Rufus Neck Hornbill Oriental Pied Hornbill Wreath Hornbill Brown Hornbill Narcondam Hornbill and Indian Grey Hornbill It is one of the few hornbill species found in urban areas in many cities where they are able to make use of large trees in avenues. Hornbills are unique birds and are often called as the farmers of the forest as they disperse the seeds of many tropical trees and keep the forest alive. The flight is heavy and involves flapping interspersed with glides. They are found in pairs or small groups. The Indian Grey Hornbill is a medium-sized hornbill measuring around 61 cm 24 inches length. The upper parts are greyish brown and there is a slight trace of a pale supercilium. The ear coverts are darker. The flight feathers of the wing are dark brown with a whitish tip. The tail has a white tip and a dark subterminal band. The male has a dark bill whereas the female has yellowish bill. The bare skin around the eye is dark in the male but sometimes pale reddish in females. The call is a squealing call, somewhat like that of a black kite. They have a red iris and the eyelids have eyelashes. The cask is short and pointed. These birds are known to be spent most of the time on tall trees, but may descend for food and to collect mud pellets for nesting. They feed on fruits and berries from fig trees, insects, reptiles, garden lizards, mostly fledglings, but on occasion can go after slightly bigger adult birds as well. Hornbill pairs are formed after mid-air acrobatics called cask budding between young competing males. The winner male presents delicious fruits including figs to the female and the pair then spends time away from the larger flock in search of a cavity to nest in. Hornbills have very unique breeding and nesting habits. The nesting season being March to May and the clutch varies from one to five symmetrical white eggs. Indian grey hornbills usually nest in tree hollows on tall trees. Peltoforum tyrocarpum, 
yellow flame tree or copper pad. An existing hollow may be excavated further to suit. Once a large and suitable cavity is found, the pair monitors the area for a week and if they find the cavity to be safe, they clean it a few times before the female enters the nest. They may excavate further to suit their needs and size. When they pair up, they keep a regular check on the chosen cavity Clean it regularly and defend the space from other cavity nesters like common minas. It is so intelligent that the nest is designed to protect from rain. After entering the nest, the female hornbill starts plastering the opening of the cavity using feces marking the beginning of the nesting season. Hornbill pairs mate for life and the female seals herself in the nest cavity for months at a stretch during which the male provides food for the mother and the growing chick inside the nest. Hornbills also tend to use the same nest year after year. The male brings neem, ficus varieties and small insects, butterflies, etc. in its mouth and feed the female five to eight times per day. While inside the nest, the female moults her flight feathers and incubates the eggs. The incubation period usually lasts between 38 to 40 days. The regrowth of the female's feathers coincides with the maturity of the chicks, at which point the nest is broke open. Since it loses its feathers during hatching of eggs, male continues to bring food 15 to 20 times per day and it is received by the female and in turn it feeds the young. After about 4 weeks from the commencement of nesting, the silence in the nest was broken by the shrill calls of a baby hornbill. After the chicks hatch, the female remains confined in the tree for around five weeks when she emerges to help the male gather food for the growing young. Hornbills usually eat berries and fruits, but the diet differs during the breeding season. The male and female both bring fruits for the young 25 to 30 times per day. For the next two weeks, since not much water is available in fruits, they start feeding grasshopper and green insects. In some instances, they bring garden lizard too. In the meanwhile, they protect them from enemies also. The young reseal themselves within the cavity after the female leaves. Papaya leaves are fed to the female by the male and same were used to protect the young by keeping them in the nest. The hornbill uses the leaves to avoid ants from approaching them. 
after the young emerge, the parents continue to feed them until they reach roughly 40 to 45 days, at which point they are considered independent. The young will grow in inside the nest and the mouth of the nest become broad and are able to see the outer world where they observe parents' flying skills. The young will be called by the parents with loud voice outside the nest. After hearing the call, the young come out of the nest and live with the parents. Later, they become independent. During dusk, these Indian grey hornbills enjoy mud bath. They play with mud to get rid of hay and other insects. Hornbills are endangered species. These birds, if in good numbers, also symbolize the richness of the forest, experts say. During this breeding season, female and young ones are completely dependent on the male for their survival till the juveniles reach a mature state. If the male bird dies during this breeding season, that will also result death of female and young ones. The birds are uh, very very beautiful creatures and they had uh, multiple colors and diversity to the uh, ecosystem. Each one of us uh, do enjoy the beauty of these creatures. The colors that we bring in to the life of the uh, people is uh, tremendous. Apart from what they bring the color diversity, they are the beautiful uh, creatures which increases the diversity of the earth also, not just the bird diversity, they add to the plant diversity. We all know that uh, they are, they eat fruits and then uh, help in dispersal of the seeds. And seed dispersal is very, very important, not just uh, by uh, way of uh, droppings, by way of even, uh, you know, through process to the digestive system of the birds and then goes out of this thing. It gives the uh, no, uh, that uh, trigger that required from germination of those uh, plants also. What we cannot do uh, as a human being, we can't uh, replicate the nature, but these birds can do it very uh, easily. And this is where uh, birds are very important to be conserved. 
we have been uh, uh, losing a uh, bird population in urban localities and uh, they are the true indicators as well for ecological uh, uh, balance and also the ecological uh, health of the uh, earth the, so if you uh, go by the uh, nature of these birds they are uh, con able to control the insect population they are able to control the rodent population they are the, uh, one of the creatures that help us con controlling many other uh, harmful creatures through uh, being the part of the food chain and food web this is uh, very very uh, crucial if the moment we disturb this chain the entire ecosystem gets imbalanced while several harmful species have been studied extensively in some parts of india there is a knowledge gap about their distribution population size and adaptations to rapidly changing habitats the data obtained by various bird lovers has the potential to enhance our understanding of a current hornbill distribution patterns and to identify important sites for conservation i'm grateful this day for a wonderful opportunity to observe the wonderful bird in my neighborhood next to my residence